welcome. I'm Viola Poole, and today I'd like to introduce to you the fine art of paper making. I have a sample here of a lovely piece that I've done, and we'll show you step by step how to make this lovely little charmer. Paper making goes way back to the Egyptians. They made paper out of papyrus uh, with reeds that they found out of the Nile and other rivers around that area. So uh, without further ado, shall we begin? tree right in the center and you got to get those little trees from somewhere. I found these right in front of our apartment building that work terrific. I'm just snipping the little tips off them right now. This one here works pretty good. Looks like a little Christmas tree. You can trim it off a bit make sure it has a nice little base. Isn't that lovely? So we'll put that there. This one too I snipped too accidentally so we'll just trim this up and uh, oh well maybe not. Well we'll keep it just in case. Okay, so you continue on snipping away at the little tips until you got a good handful of them. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay then, we'll just continue on for a couple more minutes. The next thing you want to do is flatten out the little suckers. So in order to do that, you got to lay them out in a nice orderly fashion. And then, aren't they lovely? They look like little Christmas trees there in the sunlight. Now then you want to take a real heavy board that you can find in your shop or from your husband or whatever you, you can do. And then you want to put it on there and smash it for 24 hours. Okay. Okay, they're set now to set for 24 hours. The first step in paper making is to make the soft slushy slurry. Uh, which is the base of the paper. We have to fill our blender up three quarters of the way full of warm water. Cool water works too, but warm water is much nicer on the fingers. Then we put it in our blender. And you have to have a base made out of something. We could use old catalogs. Heartland comes every other day, so that's plentiful. And you can use old paper bags if you'd like, or old typing paper, anything you find around the house. Of course, if you use a colored paper, your paper's going to come out colored too. So you have to think about that one. I'm going to use some nice white cotton lantern at this point. Now you want to tear up your little paper into about one inch squares or something like that. You don't have to be too exact about it. Anything will work. It's going to all get blended anyway. So we just will tear it up like this until you get about two good handfuls in there. So You don't want to overload your blender. And let's see how much we've got in there. A little more. a little big. Okay. That ought to do it. You put the cover on. I have several settings on my blender. I always like to use pulverize. We'll let it blend for a good two minutes and then we'll move to the next step. Next we want to add our freshly made slurry to a vat halfway full of warm water. Like I said, warm water feels more nice on our fingers. Then we just want to stir it up a bit like that. Now the thicker the mixture, the more thick the paper is going to be, the thinner the more delicate. Since we're making a Christmas card, I want to make it nice and hefty. Now we want to grab one of our little trees and we're going to make it look like it has snow in it. So we want to dip it in there like so. Get a little bit there. That's like it has a little snow on it now. Okay. Then we take our decal and mold. Now what this is, is just a frame, a simple frame, and a frame with screen on it. You can make one of your own. I bought this one, but you could use any screen if you'd like. Make sure it's not rusting. You don't want it to rust away. But anyway, yeah, this, when they make it like this, is called a decal and a mold. Next we take our little tree, put it on there like so. Put it face down. Take the decal, put it on top like so. And then we want to put it into the vat and scoop and lift so we get nice slurry in there. Okay, ready? Here we go. Scoop, mix it around a bit, and then lift. Oh, there it is. It captured all of that slurry right in there like so. Now we'll just let it drip dry a bit. That's good. I'll let it drip dry a little more. That settles down a bit. Then we remove the decal, 
And now you understand where the whole deckle edge thing comes from. See, that's kind of uneven, so it gets a deckle edge. Then, oh, still dripping. Okay, then we move it over to the couch. The couch is a simple little towel with a piece of fabric on it. And we turn it over very carefully. There we go. And soak up all the excess water. Now the couch is going to soak up some of the water from the bottom. And then our little sponge here is soaking up the water from the top. Soak, soak, soak. It's getting pretty dry. Okay. Then, very gently, we want to lift one corner up, remove the screen, and there it is. Our beautiful new piece of paper. Now we, we need to use this couch again, so we got to move this aside. Again, very carefully, lift the edge, and there's our piece of paper. We'll let that sit to dry and move on to the next one. Isn't this fun? After your paper's dry for 24 hours, you can use your artistic license to decorate it too. I've taken the liberty to add a little snowflakes coming down from the sky like so, and a little gold star up there on top. Now you could use whatever your little mind comes up with. And uh, I hope you enjoyed our paper making session. I sure do enjoy paper making, hope you do too. Tune in next time. Go on now. <laughs>